Another day today of investigators testifying about evidence in the murder case against Michael Beard in Steuben County Court. Today, jurors heard from the medical examiner and information about the alleged murder weapon used to kill Kelly Clayton in her home last September. WENY's Logan Wilson joins us live now from outside the courthouse with a recap of today's testimony. Logan. Yeah, Renata, it was another emotional day here for Michael Beard's trial at the Steben County Courthouse. Like you said, the medical examiner took the stand and revealed her results of the autopsy of what caused Kelly Clayton's death. Now, in that autopsy report, the medical examiner said that Kelly Clayton was hit multiple times in the front of her skull, that the front of her skull had multiple injuries. She also said that her arms and her hands had uh, cuts had defensive wounds and that her fingers were broken. Now also other people that took the stand today were New York State Police investigators who testified about the alleged murder weapon. Now they testified that that weapon was found by a canine on October 3rd of 2015 during a search of Route 225 near Neal Road in Pine City. Now they also testified as to how they got that information and a lot of that information that they got from interviewing Michael Beard also led them to other searches later in October, finding key to the house and other items. Now, coming up on WENY News at 6 o'clock, I'll tell you about the afternoon of testimony that included surveillance video testimony from the owner of Ladderbrook Story, as well as a forensic scientist who told us about his findings of the murder weapon and other evidence that was found at the Clayton's home that night. But for now, reporting live from the Steben County Courthouse, Logan Wilson, WENY News. We are starting off the show tonight again with the latest from the Michael Beard murder trial in Steuben County's court. WENY's Logan Wilson is following the case. She joins us now live from the courthouse with a recap of today's testimony. Logan. Yeah, Renata, week one of Michael Beard's murder trial wrapped up here at Steuben County Court behind me. Now, jury selection started on Monday and Tuesday and Tuesday afternoon were opening statements. Now, from Wednesday to Friday, 29 witnesses took the stand and Special District Attorney Whedon Wetmore says he still has many more to call to the stand next week. Now, as I told you on WENY News at 530 this morning, the Monroe County Medical Examiner took the stand today to reveal the results of Kelly's autopsy report. However, this afternoon, a forensic scientist took the stand and he said from his analysis of the alleged murder weapon that was found off Route 225 in Neal Road by Pine City, he also found that some debris found near Kelly's body at the Clayton home the night of the murder matched the murder weapon almost perfectly. Now, other witnesses that took the stand today were two business owners, one from Elmira Heights, the other from Horsehead, who testified to their own surveillance video hours before Kelly's murder. Now, what they showed jurors was a red truck going different directions on East 14th Street, on Grand Central Avenue, on Lake Street, on Ladderbrook Road, as well as a green surf pro truck leaving the Ladderbrook Road uh, Industrial Park extension where surf pro is located in Horseheads. Now, we're not yet sure what that exactly means, but I'm sure we'll know in the coming days. And also other investigators that took the stage today testified about clothing that they found by a pond in Elmira Heights saying that the clothes were in a empower a gray empower bag and inside that bag was a black shirt, black pants, black sneakers and black socks. Again, we're not sure what that means yet so far in the case, but hopefully we'll learn more next week. And next week, Special District Attorney Whedon Wetmore says on Monday he will call the co-owner of Surf Pro, which is the business that Thomas Clayton also co-owns. So we'll bring you that testimony on Monday. And as always, for the latest updates on this trial, you can follow me on Twitter. But for now, reporting live from the Steven County Courthouse, Logan Wilson, WENY News.